Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to my presentation. I am Farsim Riyashat from Electrical Engineering Department of Independent University, Bangladesh. So today, the name of my presentation is Population of Bangladesh. Problem or a great asset, which is really one of the most important burning questions at present in our country. Dear audience, first of all, let's look to the roadmap of my presentation. This is the roadmap that means an overall pony summary regarding the presentation or whatever I am going to deliver you throughout the whole presentation. First of all, we will come to know regarding the objectives. Then we will look to the rise of population in Bangladesh for the last one decade. Then we will come to know regarding the importance of population or what are the benefits that is what are the advantages that we are getting because of having a very huge amount of population. And finally, the finishing that is the conclusion. Dear audience, let's come to know the objectives. Basically, we have two objectives. Number one, to know the importance of population. Or why today all of us have gathered here to know something regarding population, regarding the importance of population. And secondly, we will imbibe this particular concept that why this population is being told today as a great asset for our country, Bangladesh. Dear audience, please. Look at this particular graph. This is a particular graph which is clearly indicating the rise of population in our country, Bangladesh, starting from the year 2000 to 2018. That means almost it's about 18 years. And all of this information was collected from World Bank report, World Bank annual report regarding the population of Bangladesh. And statistics shows that at present in our country we have approximately 164.7 million number of people among them within just one square kilometer we have 1152 approximately more than 1000 number of people are living in one square kilometer that means Bangladesh is really not only one of the most overpopulated countries in the whole world, but also it is considered as one of the most highly densely populated country in the whole world. Now, dear audience, let's look to this particular slide. That what are the importances of population? Dear audience, please have a look to this particular diagram. We can see a very good number of people are standing having same uniform and they are going. I think you, uh, you have already assumed or you have already precisely taken the decision that the scenario this is the external place of Shah Jalal International Airport and we all know very well that Malaysia every year takes a good number of people for their activities and Bangladesh is sending regularly people and these people are going from Bangladesh to Malaysia to earn their livelihood. Now let's move on to the next slide. Dear audience, please have a look to these two diagrams. We can see that a good number of people are working. Uh, these are the Bangladeshi people. On the other hand, a very good, uh, few number of women are also standing wearing passports. Today, Bangladesh is sending male. At the same time, female, a good number of female persons are also working in abroad, especially in the Middle East. For example, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait, and also many other countries. They are working as many are. Now, dear audience, uh, please look to this pie graph. Actually, this is a particular pie graph. Uh, I think it's not lucid uh, for you, but I'll try to explain very briefly. This information was collected from the Ministry of Labor and Employment in the last year, 2018. And this statistics shows that the number of people who are living outside Bangladesh, that means the number of Bangladeshi people who are working outside to earn their livelihood, among them, 70% people, I repeat, 70% people are living in the Middle East. That is Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Yemen, and also many other countries. <coughs> Basically, one of the most important reasons is the religious faith, because we are Muslims, and since it is also, it is also one of the most important places uh, regarding the Islam religion, this is the reason. On the other hand, they are also getting a very good amount of money by working there. Now let's come to know the most important slide of our presentation. That is, why this population is considered as an asset? Dear audience, I think already you have uh, seen this particular slide, that is the remittance. We all know very well that what the remittance is. Whenever a particular person is working in another country, 
that is a foreign worker let's say a foreign worker is working in a particular country after getting salary definitely he or she saves a particular amount of money to his or her families father mother children wife and maybe many other cases so this particular amount of money is turned as remittance dear audience just to imagine let us suppose a particular person working at malaysia and he sends 1000 ringgit one ringgit is equal to 20 taka so 1000 ringgit is definitely is equal to 20000 ringgit similarly on the other hand let us suppose a person is working at usa he sends 1000 us dollar one us dollar is equal to 84 taka 1000 us dollar approximately equal to 84000 bangladesh taka just imagine a very huge amount of money a very huge amount of money we are getting because of having remittances and you will be surprised to know that according to the information provided by bangladesh bank that is our national bank or the central bank in the last year that is in the year of 2018 we achieved approximately 9.08 billion amount of us dollar yes dear audience 9.08 billion amount of us dollar only because of having the remittances and it is also mentionable which is approximately also a little bit greater approximately 9.13 percent is greater than the year of 2017 so day by day our remittance or the money that we are achieving through remittances are increasing it's a very good news for all of us just imagine a very huge amount of families are getting economically benefited definitely their benefit is also our benefit that means our the benefit of our country the economic sector the financial sector of our country bangladesh is also being benefited from this particular remittances and second point that i like to share with you that is the garment sector dear audience we all know very well that there are totally five basic needs of the human being foods clothes shelter education and medical facilities so cloth is one of the basic need <clears throat> and dear audience you will be very much happy to know that the garments industries of our country bangladesh is considered as the second largest garments industry in the whole world just after china do you know why are we getting such amount of advantages because of having the cheap labor just imagine let us suppose i'm making a garment sector and i'm giving a signboard that we need people just within today or within tomorrow we will get a very huge number of people and if I tell them that yes, I will give you a very small amount of salary, they will be happy, no doubt to say any. We are getting, we, this is one of the most important factors. And dear audience, I would like to mention to you, from our garment sector, we are getting 80% of the total export. And according to the information provided by EPB, that is the Export Promotion Bureau of the, of the People's Republic of Bangladesh in the last year that is in the year of 2018 we achieved approximately 36.66 billion amount of US dollar which is approximately equal to 12.36 percentage of the total GDP that is the gross domestic product just imagine just imagine a very huge amount of money we are getting only from the garment sector why because we have population because the people we have had the people and these people are our asset these people are our power and dear audience i would like to mention can we remember our childhood there was a book social science in our bengali language we used to say shamajik bigyan even uh, uh, today nowadays i think uh, uh, the small children are reading bangladesh or bishop or something like that in this book there was a chapter that population problem population problem even up today, uh, just a very few years ago, many countries, for example, China, which is considered as one of the uh, uh, one, uh, one of the largest countries in the whole world, is still now is the largest country of the whole world in terms of population. You will be surprised to know, dear audience, that China is also promoting the uh, is also is also telling their uh, people to take child. We will discuss it on on this particular sector. So before going to this particular portion, that is China. Let's have another important point. As we already we have already realized that there are many developed countries such as Canada, USA, Malaysia, then Singapore, and also many other. There are many reasons behind their success, but one of the most important reasons is they are welcoming foreign people. They are welcoming the people of another countries. They are welcoming foreign students, foreign brilliant students. 
this is one of the most important factors actually these two figures are the just symbolic figure definitely petronas twin tower statue of liberty was not made by the people of bangladesh but i can make a hundred percent guarantee there are a huge number of sculpture huge number of buildings in middle east countries which were made by our people by the people of our country bangladesh one of the important point i would like to mention japan is considered as one of the best countries in the whole world is still now just imagine that two decades ago japan was very much popular because of having their innovation today is the popularity same no why because they are not welcoming the people they do not like the foreign people even up there are also many countries in the europe continent day by day their economic sector is being get down their poverty is being increased why because they are not interested to welcome the people they are not interested the people of outside this is also one of the most important reason okay so in the light of the aforesaid discussion we can say that the more we are we will welcome foreign brilliant students the more we will welcome the migration of the people definitely that the development of a particular country depends on it Dear audience, as I mentioned that China, you know that once upon a time in China, there was a particular policy, one child per family. That means a particular family, a particular couple cannot take more than one child. But today we can see that China government, maybe it was the year of November 2013, according to the information provided in the Wikipedia, that after the year 2013, China government has also despoiled or I have, I have also deleted this particular policy that a particular family can take two child, two children, no problem. So what are they are doing? They are promoting the number of children. They are promoting people. They are encouraging people to take the children. And today we all know very well that China is also one of the uh, countries in the whole world who has got a very huge amount of power, isn't it? Their army, their military, they have got a huge amount of innovation sector tech and also many other. Why? Even up in our country, Bangladesh, there are also various types of Chinese companies are there. Why? Because they have the population, they have the power. Because population of a country is the power of a particular country. Even up, dear audience, let's go to the next slide. I think uh, you can see in this slide, a particular person is standing with the four wives. Actually, this is a particular uh, picture of the Malaysia. We all know very well that Malaysia is a very small country, but it is one of the most developed countries in the whole world and also very beautiful countries and you will be surprised to know that in malaysia if a person marries more than one wife that is which is known as the polygamy he or she is given subsidized advantages from the government sector and we all know very well that according to islam religion a particular person can marry four wives so malaysia is a muslim country like us and they are getting this type of the benefits so just imagine malaysia a small country is also promoting marriage and also children why because today in this 21st century they have also realized that population is a very much great asset even of singapore which is a very very small country they are also promoting the same policy so dear audience i think my time has already finished so before finishing i would like to say you something Bangladesh is a world, but you will be surprised to know that this world will be pre is present in many other sectors. For example, if you go to Sierra Leone, then ba Bengali language is considered as a second mother language. If you go to Ivory Coast, in Ivory Coast there is a particular road whose name is Bangladesh Road. Even uh, Singapore is known as the mini Bangladesh. Los Angeles city, California state of United States of America is known as the little Bangladesh. So why I am telling? Because the people of our country, they, have, they are going there, they are working there, they have made a locality, they have made a society and that's why we are getting this dignity. In the light of the aforesaid population, we can say that population is not only a very great asset, rather I should say it's a very much great, important enormous powerful factor for the development of a particular country and it is the population which also represents a particular country even up today if you go to uk in london there is also a place bangla town 
Why? Because our people have made it. Just a very few years ago, in BTV, they are also in many other TV channels. This slogan was telecasted. Chele ho, mie ho, dudi shantani jodeshto. Just after a few years we got, chele ho, mie ho, shu shantani akti jodeshto. But today, I would like to say, no, never. Population, the more the population, the more the power. The more the population, the more the economic development of a country, the more the population, the more development of a country. Because our population is not a burden, our population is a great asset. And with this, I would like to conclude my today's presentation. Thank you. Thanks to everybody for hearing my speech with a very kind pressure. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.